Solid wire model of cell division. Get four solid wires, two long one green, one orange and two, short one green, one orange. These would represent the chromatin in the cell. The wires of the same length are homologous. Orange wires will represent the chromatin from the female parent while green represents the chromatin from the male parent. Label the chromatin as follows. 1A for long green, 1B for long orange, 2C for short green, 2D for short orange. Mitosis. Prophase. During prophase, the replicated pairs of chromosomes condense and compact themselves. The pairs of chromosomes that have been replicated are called sister chromatids and they remain joined at a central point called the centromere metaphase. In metaphase, the spindle has captured all the chromosomes and lined them up at the middle of the cell, ready to divide. All the chromosomes align at the metaphase. Plate. At this stage, the two kinetochores of each chromosome should be attached to microtubules from opposite spindle poles. At this stage, the two kinetochores of each chromosome should be attached to microtubules from opposite spindle poles. Anaphase. In anaphase, the sister chromatids separate from each other and are pulled towards opposite ends of the cell. During anaphase, the sister chromatids are separated simultaneously at their centromeres. The separated chromosomes are then pulled by the spindle to opposite poles of the cell. Anaphase ensures that each daughter cell receives an identical set of chromosomes. Telophase. During telophase, a nuclear membrane forms around each set of chromosomes to separate the nuclear DNA from the cytoplasm. The chromosomes begin to uncoil, which makes them diffuse and less compact. Along with telophase, the cell undergoes a separate process called cytokinesis that divides the cytoplasm of the parental cell into two daughter cells. Meiosis. During prophase 1, the complex of DNA and protein known as chromatin condenses to form chromosomes. The pairs of replicated chromosomes are known as sister chromatids, and they remain joined at a central point called the centromere. During metaphase 1, homolog pairs which is not individual chromosomes line up at the metaphase plate for separation. When the homologous pairs line up at the metaphase plate, the orientation of each pair is random. The green version of the big chromosome and the orange version of the little chromosome happen to be positioned towards the same pole and go into the same cell. But the orientation could have equally well been flipped, so that both purple chromosomes went into the cell together. This allows for the formation of gametes with different sets of homologs. Within the tetrad, any pair of chromatid arms can overlap and fuse in a process called crossing over or recombination. Recombination is a process that breaks, recombines and rejoins sections of DNA to produce new combinations of genes. In anaphase 1, the homologs are pulled apart and move apart to opposite ends of the cell. The sister chromatids of each chromosome, however, remain attached to one another and don't come apart. During telophase 1, the chromosomes are enclosed in nuclei. The cell now undergoes a process called cytokinesis that divides the cytoplasm of the original cell into two daughter cells. Each daughter cell is haploid and has only one set of chromosomes, or half the total number of chromosomes of the original cell. During prophase 2, chromosomes condense and the nuclear envelope breaks down, if needed. The two sister chromatids of each chromosome are captured by microtubules from opposite spindle poles. During metaphase 2, the centromeres of the paired chromatids align along the equatorial plate in both cells. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids separate and are pulled towards opposite poles of the cell. In telophase 2, nuclear membranes form around each set of chromosomes, and the chromosomes decondense. Cytokinesis splits the chromosome sets into new cells, forming the final products of meiosis, four haploid cells in which each chromosome has just one chromatid. In humans, 
The products of meiosis are sperm or egg cells. The end. Thank you for watching.